In 1977, one day Titans Kent were in the final once more. But this time they themselves were put to the sword and it was courtesy of Andy Stovall, the Gloucestershire wicketkeeper. On this day, he outshined even his captain, the legendary Mike Proctor. They came two lords playing really well and uh, we had a good one day side in that era. Unfortunately, we couldn't handle them on the day. We, we, we were, you know, we were bundled out uh, chasing, I think, a small, not a, not a huge total, but a, a good total. And Gloucester have got away here to a really cracking start. Julian to stop hold. And that's four more. Bad ball there by Julian, but a beautiful shot by Stovall. And one gets the impression looking at this young lad out there. It looks as though he's just having a pre-match net. Not a very good delivery, this, from Julian. But uh, Stovall, full marks, he makes the most of it. Stovall facing Julian. And that's a big one. How fully outside length down, and he's packed that away for four as well. Glorious shot this time. Didn't uh, hang about then. Wasn't by any means a half volley or a bad ball. He crushed it on the up through the offside. No slip for Stoffold. It's purely defensive now. That's too short. Give him bowling again. That's short. Right underneath it. Powered that away on the onside. Stavo hasn't had much from Warmer that's has been as short as that. Uh, quick to take advantage of it. He's out. Fine catch. Good reflex action from Underwood moving away to his right hand side. And disappointment there for Stovold. And Underwood is saying that he didn't see that in the background of the crowd. Very difficult to pick up on that side of the ground, which is lower than the left-hand side, as you look at your picture. And it came from out of the shirt sleeve spectators at Underwood. Stovall gone for 71. Caught Underwood bowled John Shepherd, And it's 144 for two. Derek Underwood bowling his 10th over. Well, it's a calculated gamble to bowl at uh, someone like Proctor in the same way as you bowl at, uh, say, Stovold. There's only one man out on the leg side. That's a deep backward square. Proctor is very, very strong, hitting away over the top on the onside. Jarvis, and what a good shot that was. Jarvis didn't have all that far to move. He had to go from mid-off. The ball had beaten extra cover. That was Clinton. And Jarvis still couldn't get across to it from the mid-off position. So Gloucestershire finishing their 55 overs on 237 for six, the highest innings total yet recorded in the final of this event. They were 117 for one, thanks to that admirable launch given by Andy Stovold. So they may not have scored in the end quite as many as they hoped for. Uh, but all credit to the Kent Bowling for applying the break and particularly for limiting Gloucestershire to 52 off the last 10 overs. So Kent uh, set off to make 238, a task which was thought to be well within their compass on this beautiful batting pitch. In fact, uh, Bob Woolmer and Graham Clinton made a distinctly sticky start against some excellent fast bowling from Mike Proctor roaring in from the pavilion end and Brian Brain. Only four runs had arrived in the sixth over as we find Brian Brain bowling to Graham Clinton. Ball in, first block to Gloucestershire. Brain has got through Clinton's defence. The youngster hasn't scored. And Kent are four for one wicket in reply to Gloucestershire's 237. Proctor now, rolling to Rowe. Shot there, and he's given it. And Pideki Bird has given it. It wasn't a concerted appeal by any means, but the batsman looked as though he was starting off 
hesitated and the umpire gave him out. It's five for two. Charles Rowe is out without scoring, as was Clinton. He's out. Kurstovold Bol Proctor. Pacific Pole has one ball to face in this over from Proctor. Past the leg stump and there's a lot of frustration there for the Gloucestershire players. They know how important it is to dismiss our seat quickly. What a great over from Mike Proctor. Four overs, one maiden, one for five now. And Kent seven for two, chasing 237 for victory. Vernon to Asif. And beaten him again, and he's out. He's caught behind. Vernon's taken a wicket. Asif looked round. It's another catch for wicketkeeper Andy Stovall, his second. And Gloucester in, and Kent in considerable trouble now. 24 for three, losing their captain out for five. Shackleton to bowl again. Another glorious square drive. And Bob Ulmer really beginning to flourish here. Another Pat Lord's crowd here. And delightful leg glance down there by Bob Ulmer. That'll go three for four. And he's really bringing Kent very much back into this game. Can't remember who've been in two of these finals, have been successful in both occasions in the past. Striving here for another win over Gloucester. That wouldn't be anything unusual. It's 1969 since Gloucester beat them in any form of one-day cricket. But uh, they've really got some sort of a chance here now. What a marvellous catch. Well, Andy Stovold will take some better catches than that, I suppose not many, but probably none more important than in this Benson Hedges final. Elam Kortstovold. Bold Vernon for 11, and it's 64 for four, and that was the partnership break Gloucestershire needed so badly. Really was a great catch, there's no slip there. It's a wide ball, and he, Alan Elam, slashed it in. He went quickly, high and wide, and what a super catch. Straight in, held on to it. No doubts about that coming out of the glove when he hit the ground. 31.1 overs for the 100. The loss of five wickets. That's in the edit, straight to Shackleton. He's pinpointed him out at the wicket. And Shackleton put there, especially Partridge was pulled into short mid-wicket. Shackleton put out there on the fence and he took the catch for David Graveney. So Wilmer is holed out. A gentle little hit away straight down mid wicket throat. 64 he made. And it's now 100 for six. Well, that's gone many a mile in the air. And he's put it down. The Gloucestershire captain. Diving for it. Two two so far to John Shepherd, so he still has the strike. No trouble there. The ball has disappeared into the seething mass of Gloucestershire fans. One little lad in the centre of the screen has got it. And I doubt if you'll see that again. And Gloucestershire have won this Benson and Hedges final by making 237 for six against 173 for Kent. Victory by 64 runs to Gloucestershire. Now, to start with, the Benson Hedges Cup, which effectively kicks off the seasons these, these days, and the Schweppes County Championship.